Alrighty guys, thanks for uh, clicking on the video today. Today is going to be a question and answer vlog. So I'm probably going to do two parts because there was quite a lot of questions. So got all my questions right here. Uh, quite a lot of people ask quite a lot of questions and some good questions. So let's start it off. So Paul Gay Gazerly, I don't know if I've got that right. Go hopefully. Uh, Paul says he uses a. I remember I asked you all um, your driver and your location just to get a bit of a. Um, bit of a bit a bit more of a community in this question and answer vlog so paul says he uses a g39 degree probably about 300 yards right so we can all uh, understand that uh have you ever been to england no i haven't uh would you ever like to come here and play golf or maybe watch an open or something i'll tell you what, i'll do you one better i'd love to play in the open now we know that's not going to happen but um, I, I'm in really intrigued by Scotland, Ireland, England. I, my favourite type of golf course is Link style, Link style golf, and my favourite course over here is Pacific Harbour and Lost Farm, which is Link style golf courses. Um, I, I would love to come to England and for a holiday for a month and play and meet a lot of you people too. That you know, I think the bulk of the people that watch vlogs are from English and Americans. So, and I'm wondering if that's because of the weather, because you have winters and you're stuck inside. We're gifted pretty here, well here, so we can watch and we can play golf 12 months of the year. A cold day here would be, in Brisbane, I don't know, 10, 10, 12 degrees, which is probably pretty quite warm for some of you guys over there. So, uh, uh, Paul's next question, well, not a question, to be honest, I've never really had much interest in going to Australia, only because of the 24 hour journey, but, but you and all the guys from the journey have completely changed my mind because of all the great attitudes towards the game. Thank you, Paul. Um, the way you boys play golf shows, the way you guys play golf shows you have a great lifestyle. I think you play how it should be played. Uh, thank you, I appreciate that, Paul. Um, also, is there really a golf course in Australia with sharks in the lake? Well, there is and there isn't. Um, the golf course is called Carbrook. I'm pretty sure, Carbrook, I don't know if there's another one. But Carbrook Golf Course, when there was a flood a few years ago, I'm not too sure, three, four, five years ago, some of the bull sharks, wherever they are, they actually got into some of these creeks and they stayed there because the water went back down and then the sharks didn't get back out. And I don't think they're there anymore. I think the last one was gone a couple of years ago, but they've kept the signs there, so it's more of a touristy thing. Um, but honestly, I don't really want to find out because if they are, I don't want to lose my arm trying to fish out a reconditioned Pro V1. So thanks, Paul. Appreciate the question. Um, let's go on to the next one. <clears throat> Billy McDonald from Brisbane uses a Ping G30. That's G30 number two. I think there's quite a few of these, we'll be surprised. Uh, would you ever consider playing with some younger players like me in your vlogs? I'm 14 and play off seven around the Redlands area. Now, I've actually made contact with um, Billy. We're actually going to play a vlog with his dad, him, and his best mate in a four person vlog around a local course around where he lives and we're going to try and beat the course record with a four ball Ambrose whether or not that holds up and gets put on the clubhouse if we beat it I doubt it but it should be good fun um, got another comment here from Mr. Squeakart I don't know if this is legit or not do you like facial hair and why? Yeah, don't know uh, if it didn't grow I wouldn't be unhappy um, do you have a favourite colour? blue and black so Mike Hooper, Mike Northern, I'm guessing Virginia, VA, USA, or Vermont, Virginia, uh, uses a Ping G30 and a Cobra Fly, Fly Z. So that's three G30s from the first three guys. How did you get so lucky to marry someone that not only lets you play so much golf but films you doing it? Hashtag don't screw this up. Uh -huh. I really am lucky I found somebody that I suppose shares the passion that likes me seeing, likes me being happy. Um, she has tried to take up the game. She's struggling a bit, but I think because she plays softball so well and she wants to pick up golf so easily, um, it's more frustrating for her. But I really am quite lucky that I have a wife that's willing to come out and, and you know, video me playing golf. But I think, as she said, she likes to come out and spend time and she's interested in photography. So I really am quite blessed that she's into that stuff. And if she's not, she's showing a good job of hiding how much she hates it then. So um, we'll have a vlog coming up soon where... I've had this idea where I hit all the shots on a par three course and she does all the putting. And for a, for a major competition to win some Pro V1s, you've got to guess the score. So it could be great, it could be shocking, we don't know. And you're assuming that I hit the ball well off the tee. So, but yeah, Mike, I, yeah, I think that's why I'm, I'm really lucky to have a wife like Christine. Uh, Julian Hughes from England, long time fan of the show. 
Question one, what foot do you use when you stamp on it, mate? Whichever one's closest to the thing that needs to be get stamped on. Uh, if you could afford a new set of irons, what would you get? <sighs> it's going to sound weird, but I'd like to get Charlie's irons in the single length kind of thing. You know, the where you get them all in the same length as a seven iron. I'm really intrigued by that. Um, if money was no option, I'd get two sets. One custom made for me and another one custom made on that kind of seven, um, the seven iron single length irons. Uh, question three, your favorite course you've played on? Well, I'd say my top three favorite courses would be the Yoles Club, the Lost Farm in Tasmania of the Yoles Clubs in Langkawi, Thailand, and maybe Raw Hawaiian, but it's kind of hard because it's like comparing movies, you know, each movie's different, but I think those are my three favorite courses of all time. Um, and if you come to the UK, which course would you like to, would you like to play? Love you, bruh. I would love to play as the Offspring, or the, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, that's one where me and my golf are from, I think. Um, but to be honest, I, I reckon I could go there for a week and play, or two weeks and play 28 courses, two a day. I'd, I'd love to do that. And vlog and meet as many people as I can who are f you know, fans and watch from over the other side of the world. So, Charlie, yo. Brian, what do you do for a living? I run my own car detailing company, so I have a lot of time in between jobs and in here and there where I can actually go play golf. I'm like a lot of people that work nine to five, I get to go and do golf in two hour breaks or if I finish early for the day or start early, then I've got five or six hours of sunlight to go out and play golf. Um, Shaley SJJ, Brisbane, Taylor made error burner, old school. Uh, what is your favorite course in Brisbane? Favorite course in Brisbane? If I was allowed to play it, Royal Queensland. Um, I'll give you three. I do enjoy Pacific. Pacific Harbour. Those two, so there was Pacific at Carindale, Pacific Harbour. And I quite like Carbrook. Um, I'm a member of Virginia, but that's just because it's local to me. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say Pacific Harbour is my favourite course when it, when it's looking good. Uh, what did you think of Pacific Golf Club Carinder? Oh, would I ever play there again? Didn't even see that coming. Um, I quite enjoyed it. I do. Um, and I really want to play the par 3 one. I don't know if it's what I'm expecting. I think it's a bit more of a pitch and putt or a practice facility, but... I quite enjoy it. I think Pacific Golf Club has one of the best pro shops I've ever seen in my life. Um, better stock than half the golf shops you see around town here. Also, it has an amazing clubhouse. That's phenomenal. Um, yeah, and I actually have quite a, quite a few customers around that little area. So when I go and clean cars, I might try and pop in for a, a Coke or a look around the pro shop. George Cassius, George Australia, Nike Ignite driver. Were you born in you on America? Were you born in America? If so, how did you end up coming to Australia? Yes, I, I was born in um, St. Louis, Missouri, George, which is Chicago, and down here is kind of St. Louis. I think it's between four and six hour drive, something like that, depending on how fast you drive and what kind of car. Um, long story short, my dad was in the U.S. United States Navy, and during the Cold War, whatever was going on, um, America was spying on the Russians during communism, I don't know what was going on, but America had a naval base in Exmouth in Western Australia, and my dad was over there, part of the Navy's job was to protect that facility, and my mum at the time was backpacking with friends, and she came through Exmouth, and long story short, they met, they got married, um, I might try and find a photo, put a photo of dad's marriage, when they got married, he's wearing the full Navy get-up, you know, the full medals and all that stuff. Um, but then we moved, well, I was a baby. I was born in America. We stayed there till I was five. Did grade one to 12 in Australia, then went to college for four, three and a half, four years to play college baseball, NCAA, and then came back here. And people do ask what happened to my accent. I had a strong Australian accent and then a strong American accent. But then once you tend to lose after about a year and a half, so now I'm just fully Australian. So, yep. Uh, he also asked, what is Six Siox Supreme Soyok Supreme Golf asked so many questions. We'll get into that. I think it'll be all of his questions will be just part two miles. So there we go. Um, Steve, New Zealand Callaway X2 Hot. When are you coming to Orcs for some golf? Now Orcs is Auckland in New Zealand. That is the the capital. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it's the metropolis metropolis of New Zealand. Um, I can't wait to come back. I love New Zealand. I love Tasmania and New Zealand for the climate. Uh, I hate hot weather and if I, if I won the lottery, I'd be buying a house in the, one of those two places. I think we're looking maybe late next year. Um, side note, can we bunk up with you for a week? So 
but I, I would love to do a two or three day trip to New Zealand with the boys and meet up with a few guys that watch the show and um, play some of the courses. But yeah, um, Steve soon. I want to get there soon. So we'll go back. Uh, we got Mark Boundy from England. Mizuno JPX fan. There we go. The same drivers. What happened between you fellas and Alan Staines, Richo, etc.? The previous channel was excellent. I never really knew why the split. Um, I suppose, long story short, I don't want to get into it because I don't want to open up a can of worms, but when you can't, when you don't want to vlog with them off camera, then you sure as hell don't want to vlog with them on camera. There was a few comments made and a few digs at a few girls here on some old vlogs for the golfer girl, I don't know who it was, some rude remarks, and it just, it got to a place where we just weren't having fun anymore, and I think the channel now seems to be going alright. It's more of a business. It's I think it has a website and stuff like that. It's more designed, I think, to be the Australian version of whatever the UK boys are doing. But as a few, a lot of people said to me, they don't enjoy it as much because it's pretty much all these channels now: Crossfield, Shields. Well, not Crossfield, Finch, Shields, uh, Fried Eggs. All these other channels are just really. They're all trying to chomp at what's left at the say 200,000 subscribers out there that want to watch all these golf videos. It's kind of you know, forgive me for saying this, but they're all like cats pissing on territory. If you dare do something that's the same and they have a go at you and vice versa and stuff where, yeah, we just broke away and wanted to, wanted to do our own thing. And more importantly, if we swear, we swear. If we say something that's not politically correct, then we say it. Well, I don't really see the point in not being yourself because we're not paid for this, where I think they are. So when you're paid to do something or you're given stuff for free to do reviews or whatever it is, you can't really be as honest. We all know that. Um, you know, just as well if, you know, if Tiger Woods gave me 10,000 night golf balls, well, I'm probably not gonna say night ball golf balls are shit, am I? So, um, well, that's why I quite enjoy watching the average Joe do reviews because you know the average Joe's not getting anything out of it. He's gonna tell you the honest review. And if you watch my Sanger golf course review, ugh, I'm honest there. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's the end of part one. Thank you all for your questions. Part two, question answer vlog will come out couple of days so yeah appreciate it